In this video, we'll take a look at configuring third-party plugins for easy use and control within the Studio One remote. By default, Persona's plugins are already configured to be laid out properly on the plugin editor page. But most of us use third-party plugins quite often, and having control over their parameters within the Studio One remote is definitely something you want to set up. First, let's select an audio track and expand it so we can see the inserts on that particular track. In this case, I have a drum track open. I have the Good Hertz Faraday Limiter plugin inserted on it, which is one of my favorite drum bus compressors. I'll tap on it in the remote in order to open up the GUI in Studio One. We'll click on the Edit Mapping icon in the plugin. This shows our automatable parameters and gives us the option to link them to controls. This is what we have to do in order to have them show up within the Studio One remote. Clicking on the down arrow in the control box gives us several options from which we'll click the UCNet remote. You'll now see eight knobs and eight buttons underneath them, each which corresponds to a knob and a button in the Studio One remote. Let's say I want to have control over the threshold slider in the Faraday limiter on the top Studio One remote slider. We simply have to adjust it with our mouse in order to have the hand icon change to the threshold dialog. Then we simply drag and drop that over the first knob on the UCNet remote. And as you see on our Studio One remote, now we have control over the threshold on our top remote slider. Next, we can do the same procedure with the ratio control. We can continue to do this with as many parameters as we like, and once we surpass eight, we'll have another scrollable page to the right to assign more controls. If we want to assign button parameters that click on and off, we can do the same process and drag that hand icon to one of the available buttons on the UCNet remote. You only have to do this once per plugin as it's remembered the next time you open another project and insert the same plugin.